testnet is bidding farewell and making way for the common university entrance test or as we like to call it CUET. In this video, we are diving deep into the major changes, what it means for you and how you can stay ahead in this academic game. Myself is a Tata Institute graduate, so like I know why the students are actually protesting against this. First of all, like mm -hmm. this has a reputation. CUET, like yeah. this is the first tier one university that is coming under CUET PG. Yeah. Secondly, CUET PG is a relatively very new exam. It's just two three years that the exam is there, and uh, like if you uh, have checked through the past papers of like CUET PG. Uh, they have mentioned a clear syllabus that what they are going to ask. Like, uh, if you'll go to the website and ask, uh, like, uh, and uh, if you'll check that, okay, in um, specifically in quants, th they have mentioned only the topics of arithmetic. But if you check the past year, same paper code, past year papers, you have questions from algebra also, permutation combination also, probability also, and obviously a GK, which was a major crux for Tata Institute Social Science that is now also missing like in uh, like uh, copb12 you don't have a gk there right so that is one of the major thing like uh, why the students are protesting and uh, what i feel like the other reason of the protest is the time at which uh, these people have informed us like a lot of institutes are already have already launched the courses for like tata institute social science specifically and the students have also started preparing for that but now suddenly they have come up like all that like we'll be taking like CUET PG now and like obviously that is like if, even if they have to shift to CUET PG that can be done from the next session right that is one of the major reason why the students are protesting like I have also got like from my alumni network I have got a lot of uh, things like what are my views onto it and obviously the second thing is the CUET the exam conducting body that is a question mark there right so the exam is being conducted by nta this is this is the same examination conducting body that conducts uh, cmat also that has conducted tata uh, like iift in the past also and like we have already witnessed the blunders that the that do come up in these exams right so exam centers are uh, like uh, the condition of the exam centers if you take the paper itself if you take and now when the uh, COET PG it itself has told, uh, said that okay like we will be taking this they haven't mentioned anything about like what they, like they have mentioned like 75 question 105 minutes is going to be there but like the uh, they haven't mentioned anything about like what will be the sectional distribution of the question whether students will be able to switch between the sections or not they haven't mentioned like oh, the syllabus I already told you like they do publish a syllabus but they do ask the question outside from the syllabus also so these are some of the reasons that uh, like uh, obviously students won't be happy because like this is uh, this might be a regular exam for the university or the conducting body but a, a student all the future of a student depends upon these exams the changes if we see with respect to data institute social science yeah. okay so first of all like earlier we used to have 100 questions out there now there are only 75 questions and earlier we have to, we used to have 120 minutes for it now we have 105 minutes so if you look at the uh, ratio like on like on per question how much time we are getting so it's approximately same but obviously the number of questions have decreased I feel the major change is that, that we don't have a GK in here, right? So, uh, like, because, like, uh, when I, I used to give, like, and in the, in the last, till the very last year, GK was a very major part of, like, uh, the Tata Institute of Social Science exam. And students who are prepared for CAT and other exams, they have to pre be prepared for the GK as well. So, GK is not there. I think that's a, uh, that's a news that most of the students will be happy about. Uh, and uh, if I talk about the paper standard, the level of the paper, uh, earlier when Tata Institute uh, used to conduct the exam, the like the quants, verbal and the LRDI section used to be very, very simple. Now, uh, like they haven't released anything, we don't have a past year paper, but like what I feel is that they will be increasing the level of COQP 12 and 11 both, right? 
so this is one of the major change secondly uh, like they have uh, tata institute have recently shared that okay now uh, 75% of the weight is, is going to be your uh, this written examination then if you are going for the hr program they will be conducting a gd it's a virtual gd earlier what they used to do is like we have to go to mumbai we have to report to mumbai to the main campus there we used to have our gd now the gd is virtual and then we have this personal interview round right and if you are going for like any odcl or the social work program then we have a it's tempo so like they'll give you two to three minutes uh to talk about it and they'll give you a topic you have to talk about it and then we have a pi so major changes if i talk about that's one of the time limit and obviously the uncertainty that we don't have uh, like how many questions will we be will we be able to switch between the sections or not and i feel the difficulty level will be increased secondly gk is not there so these are the major changes and um, i'll uh, suggest uh, most of the students like who are preparing who have actually if you have actually prepared for a snap and nmat that is the level that they will be targeting earlier the test paper uh, was easier than the uh, snap and and uh, this nmat paper cuqp like i all think it is available on the net easily so you have to search for cuet pg cuqp 12 paper that will be easily accessible but this year the paper level will be increased i would suggest that instead of going for previous year papers go go with the level of questions that you get in the different omet exams not the cat they won't go up to the cat level but the omet level will be matched preparing for the other exams as well like the cat has just happened that has happened and the other omets have happened and if you have prepared for all these exams right uh, use the same resources to prepare for this you don't have to worry for gk now also. so so the same resources will be uh, more than enough to prepare for this particular exam if you are targeting like hr and if you are going for social work then you have to prepare for gk here i would like to add one thing like gk is actually something that reflects the type of questions in gk that you get will be reflecting the type of the college you will go into Feel that yes, the paper is going to be on a tougher side. If you have seen the past year test papers, uh, they they were very very simple, right? So like uh, if you look at the past year paper, quants, either LRDI or uh, maybe verbal, the deciding factor has always been the GK. Now when the GK is not there, so I do feel that the paper is going to be on a tougher side, but it won't match the level of the CAT. so you can expect a level of like nmat or snap you can say maybe mycat if you have gone through that paper so that level you can easily expect